Okay guys, so we need to be able to escape the guillotine for mount. It's a, a tricky one to get out of for a lot of people. It's very, very frustrating. A lot of people get their neck cranked, so we have to be careful about that right away. We don't want to get caught in a neck crank. So, when I have Brandon here, he's going for his guillotine for mount. What I want to do is I need to get my elbows in front of his hips, just like any uh, normal mount escape. My hands are now on his hips because he's leaning forward. I'm going to bridge up. I'm going to press, put my legs in, and get to a butterfly guard. Now, Brandon let go because he's being nice and uh, he's not going to resist too much. But most guys, of course, are going to try and hang on to that choke. Okay, So uh, don't worry about the, hey, I'm caught in the butterfly guard and the guy's guillotine me because i got a special bonus move for about that one coming up. But we just want to get out of the position itself. So the two most common things, though, that are going to happen is I get my elbows in, hands up, he's still going to hold on to my legs, I bridge and I shrimp away and get my legs in. Okay, so now I get a butterfly guard or, one more time, I do a good bridge and I throw him off of me. Okay, sometimes guys get a little bit too wrapped up in trying to get the hand position for the choke and they're going to get flipped right over you, so you don't watch out for that one. That one doesn't quite happen as often, but occasionally, you get that flip, and then we're back into that position where we both have each other's heads. So, uh, again, just like when we're escaping guard, and I put my hands on his knees to escape his hips, Brandon's going to hold on to my hips a little bit with his feet this time. He's got the guillotine. Bridge up. There you go. Whoa. And now, I rode him to mount. Okay? And that's just because he stayed on, he latched on to my legs a little bit longer. So. Those that you can see, there's a lot of little different variations, and it really depends on how much resistance he's giving me, how much connection he's giving me. If he's loose with his legs, he'll fly right off. If he's too loose with his hips, he'll flip right off. If he stays tighter, we tend to move together. Okay, so we're gonna watch out for that one. Go ahead, guys.